Hey, it's Kat Michaels and I am at Deja Vu Skin and Vein Center. Um, we are going to do some exciting things today. Um, I have been grinding my teeth since I was a little girl. Um, it's awful. Uh, Sean can attest to that. He says that if my head is actually touching the headboard of the bed, it makes the headboard make noise. Oh, um, yeah, <laughs> my daughter also grinds her teeth. Um, but it's something I've done for, I mean, as long as I can remember. And the muscles that make me do that um, are really built up. It's essentially me doing that every single night is the equivalent of somebody going to the gym and lifting a weight over and over and over and over again. And that muscle builds up. And that's essentially what's happened um, to my masseter muscles. So we are actually going to do Botox injections in my masseter muscles. Um, we're also going to do a little Botox um, here because I have this frown line that I can't stand. I don't mind the wrinkles across the top of my forehead, but I, I loathe this thing right here. So it's the first thing that I see when I see a picture of myself. Um, so we're going to do some Botox there to try to um, lessen that and at least make it so that it doesn't get worse. Mm -hmm. um, do you want to tell us kind of what we're going to do and the process that, that we're going to go through with that? With the Botox? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Um, once your skin is nice and clean, um, we'll do injections. Um, the frown is going to consist of five injections. So we'll do one here, one here and here, and then one about here and here based on where that muscle is moving whenever you do this. Okay. And um, so I'll kind of have you do that movement and watch how you're moving and then, um, decide where exactly the Botox needs to go. For the masseters, we're going to actually have you clench like your, um, Kind of like getting ready to grind your teeth. Yeah. And I'll be able to tell exactly where that muscle is and we can even take like a um, white eyeliner pencil and just outline it. Um, it's very pronounced when you do that. So we sure. can outline it and then that allows me to see exactly where your muscle is and disperse that Botox evenly on both sides. Okay. Um, and what happens? Like what happens to the muscle when we put the Botox in? To those so it is a product that will temporarily paralyze the muscle so you probably will notice a little bit of change but it'll take about a full seven days before you're completely that muscle is completely relaxed okay. so you know especially here with with it being like a movement you might notice a little bit of change where the muscle is harder to move it's harder for you to do this between sure. now and next Friday um, but after next Friday it it will be almost impossible for you to, to, to make that this. face. That's good because I make this face and I don't know that I make <laughs> like that's the thing. Um I, I work with computers and you know in the, the studio at the radio station and I stare at computer screens all day long and I make this face and I don't know I'm making mm -hmm. it. You know, I walk out in the sunshine and I don't have my contacts in and I don't have sunglasses handy and I make that face. Right. Everything I do makes that face. Um even when I don't realize that yeah. I'm doing it. Um if I'm concentrating on something, that's the face I make. So, uh, really excited to see about um, relieving some of that. Now, as far as the masters go, is there going to be any kind of issue with like my ability to chew food or anything like that? No, it'll just weaken that movement to where you're not able to kind of overwork that muscle like you, and especially because it's self-conscious. You don't know that you're doing that. So, right. um, chewing um, won't be an issue. Um, I think this is a little bit farther back anyway. so. Um, this muscle is going to be weakened and hopefully it will kind of help slim that part of your face like you were explaining how it's overworked. It's kind of getting right. bigger. It is and it hopefully we'll be able to see that it's shrinking. This portion of my face, if you look at pictures from a decade ago, this portion of my face is much fuller mm -hmm. now than it was before and it's not necessarily, I mean I've gained, like there's probably a, a 10-15 pound weight difference between me now and me 10 years ago, but that's not enough really to make up what's happening here. So this is actually the roundness in my face right here is from that muscle. Like I can touch it now and if I clench, uh, it's, it's as hard as touching a baseball. I mean, those, yeah. The muscle is just, it's as hard as a rock. Um, so I'm really excited about the opportunity to do this and to try Botox in my, in my master muscles. Uh, it is one of a number of services that are offered here at Deja Vu Skin and Vein Center. Um, you can find them on Rosebud Lane in Newburgh. Also, you can find them at DejaVuSkinCenter.com uh, to check out all of the the different procedures and, and things that they offer here. We're going to do one. Just going to get the wetness off. Okay, so we're going to start with your frown. And so what I want you to do is frown. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm just looking to see like where that muscle meets right here, and we're just going to have you relax. And just right here. Mm. Okay. Oh my goodness. That was a needle in my face. <laughs> I'm a big girl. I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> it's okay. I'm gonna rest my thumb here, and then frown again. Relax. Same thing. Relax. So that's three. You said we'd do five injections? Yeah, two more. That's not bad. I can do this. Okay, open and look at me real quick. And frown. And relax. And then open. Frown. Relax. Okay, you go. That part's done. So that's, that's Botox in my forehead for my frown line. Yeah. Oh my goodness. All right. So we, um, I'm just blotting for like if there's any like a speck of blood or whatever, you can kind of see it's very minimal. Sure. Um, but we don't massage or anything, so just hands off. You're not going to want to mess with this. Okay. Um, or this. Don't massage it. Don't push on it. Don't rub it. Um, if you're going somewhere this evening and say you wanted to put makeup on, that's fine. Just wait, you know, about maybe 20, 30 minutes before you do so. Just kind of let these little holes close up. Okay. And then when you wash your face this evening, just be gentle. Okay. Don't sit there and scrub on it. Sure. Um, it doesn't look like you're going to bruise from this, so you don't have to worry about ice or anything like that. I would be more concerned about icing this than this. Okay. Um, so now what I want to do is have you quench your jaw. And I'm just going to mark the borders and then relax your jaw. Quench. Like all the way up here. <laughs> <laughs> it's everywhere. Mm -hmm. Relax. Clench again. Relax and clench. Okay. Big giant master muscles. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to do the same thing on this side. Okay. Okay, clench. Relax, clench. You can almost see it through the skin. Relax, clench. Relax and clench. Relax. So within that is where we're going to inject the Botox. Because that's a big giant muscle. It is. <laughs> Not the Botox. Yes, is it the Botox? Botox? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. We're gonna do filler around her lips. Okay. Um, but we're going to inject Botox in those masseters to um, relax them and weaken them because she um, grinds her teeth. Grinds. I actually apparently make the headboard make noise. If my head's touching the headboard, it makes it vibrate. So, so we're going to... Um, actually, let me do this. Just so I don't forget where I've been. Um, look straight ahead. I'm just going to make... little dots kind of evenly space this out so I can keep track of where I'm putting the product and then you don't have to you just relax you don't have to cleanse or do okay. anything like that you've already done that so here's the first one that was it that's not bad here's another one third one hurt a little bit. The first two were okay. We're going to do two more. Okay. And how long will this um, 
will this last? Like, if it's something that I want to keep doing, when would we, when would we do it again? It's really hard to talk with numb lips. <laughs> Botox lasts about three to five months, so you'll start to notice that your muscles are gradually getting stronger here and here. Um, so you're not just going to wake up one morning and it be completely gone and back to normal. It's slowly going to get back to normal. Again. Now you can come back in in that process and do it again before it gets back to normal. So you don't have to go through that period of, um, you know, worrying about that. Like, I don't know if it hurts, if it causes pain. Like, do yeah. you wake up in the morning and think, oh, I think in the morning. morning. Like, I really must yes. have been bad last night. Yeah. So you don't have to go through that and then wait for your Botox to kick back in. If it's still weak, but you can kind of tell that it's starting to wear off, um, you can come back in and we can re-inject before it gets back to normal. The only thing that we ask, especially areas like where you're wrinkling, is at least have a little bit of movement, or I can't tell, you can't I go off of inject. your muscle movement to sure. tell where to inject. But if you are like, I can't move, well then you still have Botox, you don't need to get any more. <laughs> okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to make little dots again. Here we go. I'll wipe those white dots off before you leave. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we won't make you go home with 